and welcome back to the channel here we go with another video here on organy biker mark and this time around <clears throat> i want to talk about if i don't lose my voice i want to talk about uh, batteries for e-bikes and of course there's all different size batteries uh, there's in my instance on this bike there's two batteries and how much battery do we really need it's a really interesting question and I think the first thing you have to look at is how far we're gonna ride how much do we ride in a day you know the way I look at it is we have two categories to me so you get the people that ride less than 20 miles a day and then you get the people that ride more than 20 miles a day obviously more of us including myself including myself I'm gonna lose my voice here we only ride less than 20 miles a day there may be the odd occasion where we ride more but generally less than 20 miles but there are some people I call them extreme riders I guess that ride 20 or more miles so for this uh, we'll come back to the extreme later but for let's let's take all the rest of us first and talk about how much battery we need and for example the first bike I ever got electric was the Rad Rover and it came with a 14 amp hour battery 48 volt and if you stick to the speed limit like at least in my state here it's 20 miles per hour if you stay within 20 miles per hour whether you're throttling only or pedal assist that battery the 14 amp hour battery is going to get you 20 miles you know that's not going to be a problem whereas if you were going let's say 30 miles an hour and you were throttle only i don't think that 14 amp hour battery is going to get you the mileage or going to get you that for that distance yeah that mileage so I know there's a lot of factors that'll come into play, such as how much you weigh, how much the bike weighs. Uh, we've got the conditions. Right now I'm riding into a little bit of wind. You can probably hear it a little bit. I've got the windscreen on the camera, but um, you know, there's all these things that come into play. And, but generally speaking, I think the battery that you get with your bike usually will get you around you know pretty good and sometimes they'll uh give you an option for an upgrade to get a bigger battery and they don't charge a lot i would i would get the upgrade every time just for the simple fact that i've seen some cases where i've seen cases where the battery is two and a half amps hours uh, more it's a uh, from a 17.5 to upgrade to a 20 and they only charge you 50 bucks well that's a no-brainer to go to the to 50 dollars to get the 20 amp hour you know that's once again i'm going to apologize for my voice i think i'm losing it but uh anyway uh and then there's instances where for example i bought my lyric graffiti bike which i should be getting pretty soon and it came with one 17.5 amp hour battery but they gave me the option to buy a second one for 500 dollars. to me it was worth the 500 dollars to get the upgrade of battery and maybe i don't need the second battery but I think if nothing else it gives you peace of mind that you have it there in case you do decide to ride farther or I got to admit that I'm one of the ones that would be I would put into an extreme category for the fact of not riding 20 miles 
But I think if you're one that throttles all the time, or I shouldn't say all the time because I don't do it all the time, but full throttles a lot, then yeah, you're gonna burn more batteries. So you're probably wanting a second battery. So, but generally I think if you get a battery that's around 14 amp hours, I'm just using that one as an example, and you ride around, you know, and do 10, 15 miles, you're not gonna have any issues with battery. And I know other things are gonna come into play, like how powerful the, ba the motor is, which is true, it's gonna suck up more uh, battery, right? The more power, power that you have. And uh, so all of that comes into play. Uh, there's someone that has a YouTube channel that I watch and his name is Russ is Wright. And he uh, often talks about, and he does, I've seen him swap them out. He, he carries extra battery with him to swap it out. Uh, so he doesn't have range anxiety because he has a second battery if he needs it. So sometimes, like with the Aerial Rider Grizzly, for example, it came with two batteries, so I didn't even decide that. They decided it for me, and so that was cool. And um, and now that's why I like that, having that extra battery. Just like I say, for nothing other than peace of mind, you know, like if you do want to go farther, because maybe we do, maybe we generally just ride, you know, 10 miles, say, for example, but maybe this one Sunday afternoon, we want to do a 30 mile ride. And so uh, uh, having a second battery is, is nice. It does add weight to your bike if you have the second battery already on the bike. If you swap it out, you're still having that extra weight because you're carrying the battery on your bike with you just the same, so. But it is an interesting topic. Um, I'd be interested to know from you guys out there what, uh, how far do you ride in a day? What What is your general average that you ride? It probably depends on the time of year, right? I'm sure you ride more in the nice weather in the summer, uh, depending on where you're at. And uh, so I wonder just in a, on an average, I don't know what my average is. I mean, I commute back and forth to work, but that's a mile each way. It's only two miles. And then I'll come out and do like my a shoot a video or whatever. And, but that's not extremely far. I might go 10 miles or something. So that's 10 plus two is only 12 miles, see? But sometimes I'll do more than one video in a day. I've done that. And so that could be longer on a nice day. But anyway, it does uh, make for an interesting topic. Uh, I'd like to know though, uh, what you guys, uh, how far you ride and do you have multiple batteries? Do you have more than one battery? And, uh, if you do, did you buy it separate or did you, uh, uh, did it come with the bike or, you know, was that, you know, what made you decide to get a second battery? Was it peace of mind or do you really ride, you know, further and want the power? Or, or, or you like me, when you uh, do this and you go full throttle, which I do on occasion, I got to admit, it depends on where I'm at and things like that. So uh, an interesting topic though, batteries, I'll probably do another one on batteries in the future too because is it, it is interesting in what people do and use for batteries. And uh, like I say, let me know how far do you ride in a given day uh, or on a, on a daily basis. Do you commute to work and or do you whichever. The other thing I didn't mention too is the weight of your cargo, right? If you're carrying uh, extra weight along, Maybe you double ride with somebody. I've never done that, but I'm sure people have, or they'll ride with their pet on there. So that'll all add, add up onto the weight too. But uh, yeah, give me your feedback as to what you, uh, how far you ride, and uh, and whether you use uh, what size battery you have. You know, do you have any anxiety over how far you're riding? Do you ever worry about your battery, you know, and losing uh, battery? Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for uh, putting up with my voice. It's 
wanting to go on me here. I, hopefully it doesn't, but I wasn't hollering or anything, but I'm losing it. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. Please hit the uh, subscribe button. Subscribe if you haven't already and tell your friends about us. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and also hit that notification. It'll notify you when the next video is out here on the channel. So until next time, thank you for joining me and take care.